Okay, so today we're going to see how to back up a Blu-ray disc using Make MKV. I've got the Suicide Squad extended cut to do today. Open the tray. Put the disc in. Key to wake up the TV. And we'll go down to the toolbar, find the MKV shortcut. And we'll open up the Blu ray disc, go to the file menu. In the desk. Size that a little bit. Okay. So now you see it's created several different clips, but only one of them is probably the right one. Go ahead and unselect all, clear it up. Looks like 30 gigabytes is about the right size, so I think that's the one I really want. See, I have a bunch of stuff checked here. I don't really want all of that. So I'll click in here and unselect again. And now I'll select the title, which gives me the video. And then the audio track that I want. I could choose more than one audio track, but I'm only going to choose the one I want. The True HD Surround 7.1. And I'll choose the forced English subtitles, just in case I need them. And the attachments so that it has a nice shortcut. And it's already set because I defaulted it to the output folder I want. It's the P drive, which is mapped on the SAM to the videos. And I click the Make MKV button. And it starts doing its work. And it will take 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe longer to complete everything. So we'll come back when it's done. Okay, now it's finishing up. It's been about 35 minutes. And it seems to be within about a minute of being done. Alright, about to finish. Saved. So I have four. Give me a message down below. It says before subtitle track number two turned out to be empty, so that tells me there was no track there. So supposedly there's no subtitles, or if there are subtitles, they're built into the video, or it's more complicated. If it is. We'll have to do a separate video on how to handle that. I'm done with Make MKB, so I can close that. Then I want to open the video folder. Find the file. Okay. drive video and 
called Suicide Squad. here. I want to put a shortcut wherever I need it. So this is a DC, so currently I'm just putting DC movies in this folder. So I'll copy the short or paste the shortcut. Now I'll rename it. To get rid of the shortcut word. Good. I'm going to assume that's good and we're done for now.